After six TV series in 13 movies, do you really feel like you can say you're going somewhere no one has gone before? I think you should have this back. After all, it belonged to your mother. It is not in the Vulcan custom to receive again that which was given as a gift. You guys break up? What'd you do? A typically reductive inquiry, Doctor. You know, Spock, if an Earth girl says uh, it's me, not you, it's definitely you. Star Trek Beyond is the 13th Star Trek movie to hit theaters, the third in this new J.J. Abrams-infused version of the series. Once again, following Captain Kirk and his enterprising crew as they trek around the far reaches of space, getting into and out of trouble. Is this a journey you want to make with them? Well, here's five things you might want to know before you see Star Trek Beyond. Let's start here. I really love this cast. Uh, I think they did themselves a huge favor right off the bat by setting a good foundation for this new journey into this universe. They have cast these characters so well. I love Chris Pine as Captain Kirk. Absolutely love Carl Urban as Bones. And right down the line, really, you think of Simon Pegg as Scotty. They just set themselves up so well with such a great and likable cast that it almost doesn't matter what story you throw them into, you're gonna have a good time with them. The other thing I love about this movie in particular is I think even more than the last two, it has a sense of world building and imagination that I've been waiting for. It feels like the first two were so bogged down in not only setting things up, but kind of making references to the things we love about Star Trek. This one just feels like a regular old Star Trek movie. And I love that. It gives it a chance to stand alone. And because of that, some of the things they do with these creatures or the way they attack with their ships, I found really compelling and really engaging. And one of the positive reasons, I think, to see the film. I mentioned the imagination, but I do have to say, we have seen a lot of this before. I was talking with somebody about this recently, about this idea of criticizing films for having elements that you've seen in other movies. And to me, it's almost like criticizing a song for having a note you heard in another song. I mean, there's only so many notes to be played, so many ways to do this. I'd much rather give huge praise when a movie does something out of the ordinary than to detract from a movie just because it borrowed something from somewhere else. But there is a lot of that here, so I wanted to give you that caution in case that's gonna mess with you. For me, I actually liked it because it adds a layer of familiarity and lets you live inside the story even a little bit more. So yeah, I think I had a pretty good time with Star Trek Beyond. That's not to say it's a perfect film. Certainly has some things I didn't like. For me, I thought the pacing was off a little bit. Now, I get that Star Trek wants to get into these themes, and there's some beautiful themes here about unity and family and all that kind of stuff. But for me, it took us a while to kind of get moving, and I felt like I already knew these characters. Like, some of the backstory almost seemed repetitive, which, again, you kind of have to do because it's its own movie. But I, it's almost like I want it treated like a TV show where, where I've seen the other episodes, so I already got that backstory. I know they can't do that, but still, it kind of slowed the pace down for me just a little bit. I'll finish with the other thing I didn't like about this film, which is actually kind of a surprise considering the people involved. I think some of the effects work was pretty lame. Now, I don't mean the big stuff, like the giant crash and the big space effects. That stuff looked beautiful. In fact, this movie was gorgeous through a lot of it, but there are these moments where the little stuff is just grossly underdone. Some of the green screen work and the CG work looked completely fake in a way that takes you out of the movie. Like if it's just a split second and I can move on, that's great. But when I'm like, oh, that is definitely not a real human being, then I'm out for a while. And I think it needed to kind of get that together if it wanted to have the full picture of how beautiful this movie could have been. <laughs> Overall, I feel like Star Trek Beyond is a decent Star Trek film, a nice standalone film. It's not boldly going where no film has gone before, but it's still making enough of a travel that I gave it a solid B. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. We'll get to the best ever challenge here in a bit. First, I want to let you know, if you click the info button up here, you're going to see other reviews that you can check out. Also a way to support the station uh, or the channel. 
uh, whatever it is here on YouTube. Also, if you want to uh, follow me on Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias, just search for my name, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E and if you do podcasts, I would highly encourage you to check out our podcast, Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. -P. Uh, you can check that out just by searching for wherever you do your podcasts, and you can find us every week. We do whatever the movie is out, some television stuff. Uh, we have a good time this week. We talked about Stranger Things and Star Trek, so good podcast this week. You can check it out there. All right, on to the Best Ever Challenge, where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. What is the best Star Trek movie ever? Yeah, there are 13 of them. Which one is the best? Uh, put yours in the comments. For mine, I'm going to have to say it's the one that made me fear tongs. Is that clue specific enough? Specifically tongs that had any kind of squiggly worm in them. Take a guess at mine in the comments. First person to get it right does get a point. As always, here's five extra seconds to hit the subscribe logo. It's right down in this corner. Click it and you'll never miss another review unless you choose to, which is fine. No offense taken, but if you're subscribed, at least you'll know when they're up.